yeah, I, I, I don't know if you have any examples you can specifically speak to where you had an artist. But I mean, the artists you represented, or at least the ones I know, like Manic, he, you know, he's always kept it uh, real. Yeah. Like, he hasn't lost touch. I, you know, I've been very fortunate. So it's like kind of continuing the journey. So I went to school upstate. I majored in music business. Then from there, um, I was always more concerned with business. I mean, if you would ask me, do you play any instruments? Yeah, I play drums. You know, that's why I went to Oneonta. But even from a young age, when I'd buy CDs or records, uh, I'd be reading the booklets and seeing who the A&R person was, who the manager was. Um, I'd be connecting all these dots and, you know, seeing all these relationships. So um, I pretty much figured out, figured out I wanted to stay in the business end of things. And it's what I was good at. You know, some people are just natural salesmen, right? That's how, that's how you got to be in business. So went to Oneonta. That's where I met Manic, uh, Chris Manic. Uh, to this day, he's one of my most dear friends. Um started working with him and he is i mean you know let's not keep overusing the word talent of course he's talented um but he's very unique in the fact that he's very aware of who he is and what he wants to do and any compromise is not going to come by way of the artistic side uh he's going to do what he's going to do um, in either, you know, a label or, or you know, a power that be is, is going to dig it or they're not. And when you operate with such an utmost sense of integrity, uh, not only is it contagious, not only is it motivating, um, but that in itself is a selling point. And, you know, the top labels in the world, Anjuna Deep, Armada Deep, or whatever deep imprint, yeah. they have nowadays um wants that wants that authenticity integrity uh those are still commodities nowadays he, he, if so even more nowadays yeah. um so i mean he, he's a prime example but a lot of the artists i have worked with i've been very fortunate that they've always skewed uh, left of center and when the bigger opportunities presented themselves that was really because of the content they were creating. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's one thing to broker a deal and connect the dots and recognize I'm build, build a bridge. I mean, you know, that's what I do. But that, but at the end of the day, the integrity and authenticity of the content needs to be there, or no one's gonna be knocking on the door. Yeah. So another person that I know you worked with.